Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Serenity. If you're new here, I do K-pop and J-pop reactions. This video, and I'm super excited to announce, it is going to be a long one, but this video is going to cover Twice's album, Formula of Love. And someone had requested a while back for me to go back and watch um, the first thing I said about a couple twice ladies that had come to judge in Measy Project season one. And so I kind of forgot about that. Like, this is where I was first introduced to twice, you know, at least to Sana and to Momo. So that being said, we're going to go watch it. <laughs> what is my face? <laughs> I love it. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> ハイティーハイティーハイティーみんなでハイティーしますかせーのハイティーハイティーママ頑張ってください頑張ったまたあとで<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> It's so interesting for me to like sit here and watch them fangirl. Um, I just don't ever feel like me personally. I would, you know what? Uh -huh. I take that back. If if I was seeing Stray Kids, I might indeed fangirl. But at the same time, I feel like I'm a very relaxed person. So I feel like I wouldn't. But like, maybe. I don't know. Um... That being said, um, I don't know anything about Twice. Um, I clearly need to learn because I know they're pretty important here um, and in the industry. I don't know Twice. Um, I know I said that um, last episode. I don't know Twice, but I just would like to say she looks so beautiful. She literally looks like exactly what you would think a celebrity would look like or a k-pop idol would look like it's just mind-blowing how like perfect she looks um that's all <laughs> oh i totally remember saying that now that's so funny <laughs> i mean but like i stay uh i stand by exactly what i said there she literally looks perfect like she's beautiful i mean but all of twice is super super beautiful now that i have seen all of them uh i was hooked by sauna the the first time i saw her i guess what can i say <laughs> anyways i i didn't say a whole lot because i only knew sauna and momo um at the time but I thought it was a fun little flashback and boy did that make me want to like I really do want to go rewatch all of the girls' original auditions. I don't know if I could handle and maybe like the last showcase. That may be fun, honestly. Uh, so comment below if I should do that or not. But that being said, we are going to start covering the album. And I am going to start, uh, I'm going to try to go with the trackless order, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I did listen to Scientist, I think like once or twice, I'm not going to lie. I haven't heard it 
um, a whole lot. So that being said, though, I since I have seen the music video, I thought it'd be cool to see a performance. So this is going to be Scientist MTV Fresh Out live full performance. Straight out the gate, uh, their outfits are absolutely to die for. I love it. I love the red, the black, and the white vibe here. I also like the fishnet shirt here over a crop top on Chewy. That is absolutely adorable. And I see the half heart on Nyon. Yum. <laughs> I love this. And there's the a broken heart here. Mm. And then all of these. I like how... You have heels and you have ankle boots and then you got knee high boots. Momo kills the knee high. Oh, all right, enough about their outfits. Let's see the performance. Yeah. <laughs> Better make a move Seeing Mina with bangs kind of caught me off guard. Also, what did they do to poor Dayon's hair here? <laughs> Okay, I just realized they're missing one. Is this when she had her, um, she got a neck injury, correct? Is this when this, like this time frame, is that when that happened? <laughs> Like a dance break? It's been so long since I've heard it that some of it I didn't even recognize. Wow. Well. All right. Uh, the next one is going to be Moonlight. Okay, so we are going to listen to Moonlight. 
which the first time I saw, they have a song, Moonlight, and then they have Moonlight Sunrise. And how dare they confuse us like that? That is not fair. Okay, I'm trying to think of what this beat reminds me of. Your eyes are glowing in the dark Lighting the way to where you are Ain't nothing pulling us apart When we're together Diamonds are everywhere, they're all there like to see Close season, close enough for you to be to me I wanna be the air, be the air you breathe All, all English song again? They have like quite a few straight out the gate all English. They have a lot of love songs, don't they? I love how their parts are actually separated here. Like, there's so many times in songs where they'll, like, someone will say, like, three words, and then someone else will say three words, and it's very, like, back and forth and split up, lots of little parts. I like how this one feels very even on, like, what they sing before it goes to, like, the next person. Also, very catchy. Very catchy. The lyrics are so, like, poetic. I love it. It was very cute. It's very, like, laid back and relax and it's a love song they have so many love songs I, I mean not that i'm not that i'm complaining by anyways um on moonlight i think my favorite part was when mina came in with the beat change i kind of low-key caught me off guard and i was kind of wondering with the 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 beat and the vibe of it if there was going to be like a slight change up and there was and honestly i think that was probably my favorite part all right so now we are going to check out icon 
I'm coming alive. And is this all English again? Yo. <laughs> okay. song like like it feels like uh know your place <laughs> What savages they are. I feel like you can interpret that a couple ways. Um, I should, I feel like just from the name of the title, like I should have known, but damn, like I was not expecting, expecting that. That was badass. I love the beat. I love the flow of everything and the lyrics. I just, the lyrics cracked me up. That's great. So, and also I cannot believe there are so many songs in this album like this is a massive album guys I know some really want me to do performances and I did see that there is a DVD of one of their tours that has like almost all of these songs on there so if I get the time if, we'll we'll say this eventually I will cover that I would really like to do the concert um, movies of like a few groups, um, but they cost money. So if I can find them on YouTube and they look good, then I'll try. Otherwise, I'm going to try to like buy one every once in a while when I can and try to like do the reaction that way. But anyways, back on topic, we are going to be listening to Cruel now. Chaga, she's so so gay. Tell me, 
Straight out the gate, I at first I thought this was going to be like another love song. And I guess in a sense it is, but it's kind of like the opposite. Um, I really wasn't expecting like polar opposite over here with this song. Um, I didn't even think like the, I don't know, I saw the name Cruel, but I never thought like it was them being cruel or so they perceive it as that. <laughs> Gosh, dude, I love the like tone of Momo's voice so much. I noticed though that this song is there's a lot of English in this song, and it's very catchy. And I love that it's very repetitive on the lyrics. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I could actually like sit here and like sing along to the song. So close, I'm not giving up. So close, I'm getting gassed. I know it drives you crazy. You think I'm so cruel, but I'm just doing all the things that you do. Hey, you should put yourself in my shoes, like a fool. Yeah, I'm cruel. You think I'm so cruel, but I'm just doing all the things that you do. Hey, you should put yourself in my shoes, like a fool. Yeah, I'm cruel. I did not. The lyrics are great. I love the lyrics. Not the direction I thought the song was going to go, but it, I mean, it clearly matches the, the title. So I don't know what I was thinking, but very catchy. I love that. There, there is a lot of English. I would say probably most of that song was English and it was great. I very catchy again. And it's kind of like an upbeat but it's like a very relaxed upbeat. Very catchy. All right, this one is Real You.
lie i'm trying to like uh figure out so are they just saying that they want the real them and not this other like persona that they may be emitting i feel like that's what it means correct me if i'm wrong or if you um perceived it in a different way i because i like the lyrics are good i was just trying to figure it out what like the meaning or intention was behind it that's what i was receiving um, I should have guessed that, I mean, the, the, literally the album is Formula of Love. So it makes sense to have a whole album of like different loves or feelings related to love, whether it's torture or good feelings. <laughs> okay, so this one is Fall in Love Again. Imagine that. <laughs> lyrics right there are so good tonight the stars out lights flash thinking i was gonna dance but rewind playback now you got me in a trance
I have to say the chorus, honestly, is probably my favorite part. I really like the chorus. Very catchy. I have noticed so far a couple of these songs have like a funky beat to them, like an upbeat, but like funky beat. Like, I don't know how else to describe that. Like a little bit of funk in it. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? I don't know. Overall, though, the lyrics were great. And honestly, I can't stop thinking about the chorus. I really enjoyed the chorus. Okay, so what's next? Last Waltz. Like, the title seems sad. So I'm curious on if it's, like, slower, if it is sad. Okay, um, that is not the direction I thought this song was going to go. Um, there was quite a few different beats that caught me off guard. I actually really enjoyed this song. And the lyrics, they are kind of like sad, but like in a happy kind of way. But it just sounds, I don't know, they make it sound savage in a sense let's see let's go back i'm gonna show you guys my favorite part it's like as soon as you hear the glass breaking and this that is my favorite part of this song is those sections. I know it happens multiple times in the song, but that that is my favorite. Okay. Last Waltz uh, noted. So this is Espresso, which um, I'm curious to see how this relates to like love. Um, I am an Espresso type of girl. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see how this relates. <laughs> I'm 
심장 뛰고 몸으로 퍼져가지 단 한번에 Perfect cafe Take it away 중독된 것 같은 느낌 Love it is One shot turn it for seven 너 미치게 하는 이 Sack of black What? Too meaningful Look How beautiful 넘치게 넘치게 따뜻한 넘치게 다치듯은 나의 color 더 깊어지 Be a flavor 너만 느낄 수 있어 이 심장이 뛰게 하나 I did not. I was so curious how they were going to relate espresso to love, but I did not expect these lyrics. Like, these lyrics are so good. Like, I don't think I could have ever just thought of a shot of espresso and compared it like this, them being addicted after one shot and like, we're just going to keep going. There was so much happening in that song. So much. I, I'm kind of speechless. I'm not, I'm not disappointed at all. Not that I don't think I ever could be, but like, <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Espresso. I like it. How was that super popular at all? That was very interesting. Uh, comparison to the lyrics but i loved it like i said i'm an espresso kind of girl i love my lattes so i was super eager to see how they compared it to being in love and they did a very great job of it okay so this one is rewind <laughs> Oh, 
thought tears were about to come out a second ago uh that is so sad like that's tough i could have i could have gone without that one i'm not gonna lie that i related too much to that so that that sucked but sometimes you just need a song like that beautiful it's beautiful i like the beat very gentle and like I know it's them moving on, and, but they're also like reflecting, and it's just so sad. Okay, the next one better be better, or I may actually cry. <laughs> this one is cactus.
Why did we have two sad songs back to back? I'm so upset, dude. Like, I'm trying so hard not to cry. I don't want to cry. I want to be happy. I don't like sad songs. I don't I don't want to be in my emotions in that type of way, okay? Happy emotions, yes. I don't want to be sad. <sighs> okay. Y'all, I cannot handle another sad song. Please tell me the next one is happy. It's so sad. It's beautiful, but it's sad. Please tell me that this is going to be happy. Please. I need it. I need it. Um, I did notice, I think the next three songs they do in, um, would you call it trios or subunit? I don't know what you guys would call it. So I'm I'm excited to see Asana, Gio, and Dayun all together in a song. Okay, it's more upbeat. Hopefully this goes away. I wanted to.
know, when I read the title, I do this all the time. I never put, like, the title. I never guess what the title is going to mean in the song. But, like, it makes so much sense. They got someone that they're falling for, but they're not going to because it's a game and they're not going to surrender. That's great. Those lyrics are go <laughs> The lyrics are golden. Okay, so the next one is hello. And I'm super excited because it's Momo, Nayeon. Okay, I need to know how to pronounce it. Is it Chaeyoung or Jaeyoung? Because to me, it looks like Chaeyoung. But like if I go and I listen to people try to pronounce it, it almost sounds like, it sounds like both. I'm not even going to lie. So please help me with that. But I'm also super excited because I love all of their voices. So to s hear them in a song, just them, I'm pretty excited. Okay, I like it. Hello, we are from the city. So good, I am really To be fire, overheat atmosphere. A. I'm too much. Everyone knows the truth. The temperature that swallowed the sun. Don't you forget it? Kind of curious if they were gonna have more of a rap song and then have some, like, I don't know, parts where you could more sing, especially with Nyon being in there. I did not expect Nyon to also be rapping. That caught me off guard, but she did it well. They did the song really good. 
the lyrics are great. I was I was just not ex- I say this dude, I'm so repetitive. I'm so sorry, but I <laughs> I always say I wasn't expecting this. They killed it. Okay. All right, guys, tell me if I say this right. Is it Chong Yong? I feel like I butchered it. I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying. Um and Mina and Chewy 1 3 2. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> After hearing the last one, I have I'm I have no idea. I have absolutely zero ideas on what to expect here. Okay. First off, I really enjoyed that beat and like the little rap part, I honestly wasn't expecting just from the sound, like the beat and flow of it, which is so normal anyways. I don't know why I wasn't expecting it. Um, the ser- like the lyrics are kind of sad. I, I, I feel like in a sense, um, you could relate that to a few different things, but, um, I feel like I could relate to that. So it made me more sad than anything. Love albums suck. I'm tired of like sadder songs. Can can we stop? Now, I'm more than positive that I have heard this song before. Okay, so since I have heard Candy before... Um, I saw that they did a sixth anniversary home party. Um, and so I figured we would just watch a 
performance instead of a lyric video. Like candy, sugar, so sweet. That's what it tastes like when you love me. Thinking about you every night, eyes. I can't get enough. And whenever I let you out of my sight, I, I start to crave it too much. There's something about your love. You know, they sang that in unison so well. so cute oh my gosh that was so good you know it's really i love when they all sing in unison because it's like it literally just sounds like one solid voice and with a group of nine i'm sure that could be hard to do but they make it look absolutely so easy what a beautiful song it's so cute i love it okay also we know the feels we know the feels i love the feels i am a big fan of this song um, and so I decided to uh, watch the choreography video, the moving version, uh, since we've already seen the music video and I've literally witnessed it live in concert. So I'm being set. I'm so excited. Boy, wanna keep it cool, but I know every time you move, got me frozen. I get so shy, it's obvious. Yeah, yeah. Catching feels like butterflies. If I say what's on my mind, would I hit bullseye? Woo! Soon, I'm ready, aim and fire. Baby, I wow. feel like you place on life. Oh, yeah, 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 tonight. Yeah, tonight. Your heart beats so sweet when then you know. Thing, a mystery, oh Lord. Gotta get to know you more. Cause I, I can feel a real collection. I'm super 
Funny story, um, actually, when I was in concert listening to this, I was singing this song and I actually got pain in like it just started to hurt. Like, I don't know, probably like a third of the way in. Now, this song wasn't in like the very beginning of the concert. It was probably like midway. And I instantly like grabbed my throat and I was like no 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 I just want to be able to sing this song like this was one of the songs I knew every single word to and I was so excited for to be able to like just sit there and scream it out loud and so like I sat there holding my throat and I was trying so hard to still be able to sing it but I also wanted to be able to enjoy the rest of the concert so I had to take a couple breaks, but I thought that was a funny story I would share with you. I absolutely love this song. It's probably in like the top, not the top favorite song, but it's up there. It's it's in the favorites of my toy song. Gotta get to know you more, about this song is literally perfect uh i love it so much i love the choreography i love the beat it's so freaking catchy the lyrics are great i think the line distribution is literally perfect all of the voices were put exactly where they needed to be and i just i'm literally like in love this i just that's it okay the last one is scientist but it's a remix The 
these build up parts before like the chorus are probably like my favorite parts of these songs. Just like the flow of them and the lyrics. I just the more and more I've listened to the song, the more and more I've actually grown to love it. <laughs> <laughs> this set of lyrics cracks me up. I love Momo's tone. I don't know why. I just, I love it so much. I actually really enjoyed the remix version. I'm not even going to lie. That was nice. That was very nice. Overall, the album was so much fun to listen to. The lyrics on these songs are so good. Like 10 out of 10. The lyrics are genius. They're great. They flow with everything. I will say the two really sad songs really got me emotions. And I didn't appreciate those. But like I totally understand them because... Uh, you know, they put those songs out so people can relate to, you know, be in their feelings. I just didn't want to be in my feelings this morning, but it's okay. Uh, I'm really happy that this was one of the first albums that I really covered now that I'm doing them in albums versus parts. So thank you guys for suggesting this to me. I was also very surprised that there is a handful of English songs on there. So Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to this album with me. I appreciate it. And I cannot wait for the next album. What album do you guys think I should cover next? Thank you guys again so much for watching and stay tuned for more.